Now I'll demonstrate my uh, saws and pegboard setup. I have a small band saw for plastics and small items only. A large drill press with a four foot extension on it for industrial strength. A band saw that will cut things paper thin. Took a long time to adjust it that way. On wheels so I can move it out of the way completely. Use it anywhere I want in the shop. Standard household peg pegboard, multi leveled. All your standard household accumulation of my, what my wife would refer to as junk. Fishing lures all at the top, spinning in and out of the circle. Electrical soldering tools, knives. Household items here. I have a spare old refrigerator that holds all of my paints, spray paints and cans, spray cans. I have another old refrigerator here, wine cooler refrigerator, and it holds all of my uh, glues and chemicals so you can't smell them. And I have another old wine cooler down here that holds other paints and uh, caulking supplies and stuff of that nature so you don't have to smell chemicals in the shop. Works great. I'll move this camera slowly. This side of the shop over here, nuts, bolts, screws, boating supplies, repairs, torches, soldering irons, plumbing supplies, More nuts, bolts, screws. I'm going to point it towards the ceiling so you can see that I hang all of my least frequent tools on the high ground. And they're all on tracks so that I can pull them out and use them as required. Oop, just dropped the phone. I'll have to edit that out. Be trying to get the camera situated in such a way that you can see the functionality of the overhead equipment here. Air tools, jigsaws, glue guns, soldering irons, fans, all on rollers that I can move in and out of place anytime. Most commonly used tools. All on my homemade Lazy Susan, I should say. This table here, I built it on top of, the top of the table rests on a car jack. I put a 3 8 inch drill bit, or sorry, drill socket right in through the door and it raises the table up 12 to 14 inches and stabilizes it there so that I can work on changing blades or changing saws, attachments and what have you. And then I just need to lower it when I'm done. This side of the room over here is the west wall. It has numerous electrical components. Nuts, bolts, screws, air compressors, boating uh, supplies, oils, lumber, Fishing rods, steel on the ceilings, chop saws, 
collections of uh, various pictures. Might better get a picture of some fish while we're here. Might better get a picture of some of my granddaughter's pictures. Now we're moving into the electronics computer type sections. Cabinets, pool trophies, old work stuff that could all be thrown out one day. Computer monitors, computer desks. Behind the computer desk is very expensive lumber, hardwood. Printers, this computer desk was an old headboard off of uh, Jen's bed. She didn't want it anymore so it became my desk and it is on wheels and it sits higher than normal. The round table is also on wheels and slides underneath that desk. So everything can be moved anywhere in the shop and everything can be moved out of the way as necessary. This is where I built my lathe and I also feed my and video and record my birds. And I got four bird feeders out that window. We get six and seven Oreos at a time. Air conditioning, natural gas heat. Spare air conditioner. And so it works perfect. And that's about it for the shop. Did this for inventory purposes in case something happens and insurance requires it. I'll I'm going to demonstrate my tool holders in the center of my workbench table. Just so you can see the functionality. Tools are all out here. Tools are all exposed. 95% of all the tools you'll ever need reside right on here. And they're on top of my workbench so I can pull it out and get access to it. Just like that. There's another turn style at the back here. With most common wrenches, tools on it. On these tables here, I have a scroll saw, a vise, a grinder, a horizontal sander, a vertical sander, and an oscillating sander built into the table that I made. All pushes out of the way. Table saw comes up through the center. Router here. Jigsaw here. Vacuum system built in. Shop vac with about a 15 foot hose. Four furnace filters. A 1700 RPM fan that draws the air down through the table when I'm sawing. Sucks the air in, the dust goes in the box, air is filtered and exhausted out the back 